if you look at PA, the, we were touched the PSU report, Public Accounts Committee reports, again, finds an indictment of the same person sitting in meetings where he's conflicted. Look at the KPMG report. The auditors are saying they are being given even the information requested so late in the day, on the 16th of June, for an, a, a, a register to be gazetted on the 20th of June. This was deliberate attempt to make sure that the election is compromised. Section 6 of the Elections Act required the register to be opened for inspection 90 days before the date, the notice of a general election. The notice came out on the 20th of January. The register ought to have been opened 90 days before the 20th of January for inspection. He didn't do it. He gave the auditors the report so late. But they still pointed out that your register has a problem. And he took no remedial action. He proceeded to conduct the elections in the way that he desired. What he ended up doing is what my grandmother, Sophia Magambu, calls Nairobi Karafu. Pata Potea. Nairobi Karafu to me, at the National Telling Center, it is, and we've averted on our feet of it, the national chairperson of the commission called both Raila Odinga and William Root. The whole day, nobody knew who the winner was. Even the commissioners didn't know the results because Tallinn had stopped. I refer to the affidavit of the 11th respondents. They have confirmed even them, they were concerned. Why has the open display stopped? Why are you not announcing the results per constituency as you were doing before? That is what I'm saying my grandmother calls Nairobi Karafu. And my niece Mimi calls Piki Piki Ponki Pacamielo Disco. Because he called both of them. He called both of them. And he was the only person who knew who the disco would land on. It could have been either of them. It could have been William Ruto. It could have been Raila Odinga. It fell on William Ruto and he says, voila, you are the president. Is that how we intend to choose our national executive? We've reduced it to Mimi's childhood game of piki piki ponki pakamelo uh, uh, Council again. Yes, my lord. I, I did uh, give you brother advice. Be careful. Uh, that, that language appears to be alien to this court. I'll be guided, my lord. I'll be guided. But the main point, so that we don't lose the crux of the point, is that the lack of transparency in the telling and verification of the results, contrary to Article 10 of our Constitution, completely eroded public confidence in our Constitution. <laughs>